Hello, this is my homemade uh, bal rotor balancing machine. Uh, as you can see, uh, we have a rotor here and a motor under which spins this. Uh, I put an accelerometer on each plane of balancing, plane A and plane B. Uh, also, we have a point at the rotor here where, where uh, you see, it senses uh, that line. So what happens? Uh, each channel, plane A, plane B, plane B, and the signal is fed to a three-channel oscilloscope, or four channels in my case. And then you can see uh, you can see the timing. So you can determine by by the vibration of this, by the vibration of this, and by the pulse, you can determine uh, exactly where the the weight needs to be put in or to removed. So I have a controller uh, which is connected to the motor to spin it and then we will take a spin. Now the rotor will spin up and the both accelerometers plus the timing we will be on the same chart. So it's spinning up, spinning up, spinning up up to let's say 2000 RPM. So now it's revving up. So we have like 2000 uh, around 1800, 2000. Let's see. So this is the pulse. And then you can see there is no oscillation, main oscillation, just noise, a little bit noise on the plane A and plane B. Now I will stop and then uh, I will put a weight to show you the unbalance of this. Now the rotor uh, is stopped and I will add uh, a washer as a counterweight in any place. Let's see here. Put it this washer and then uh, some scotch to keep it in place not to fly away. And then we will spin it again to see what happens. So we start again. We spin it. We start to see the um, oscillations, so we need to reach again uh, higher RPM. As you can see now, we have an unbalance. So you can see the pink plane, this is the pink plane, pink, pink channel and the blue channel on the other side. As you can see, the ping now is showing a wave here, so it's no longer balanced. Even by a small weight of washer, it's it's uh, showing us an unbalance. So I will put a bigger weight to see what happens. Now I will add a second washer. So we added one, which is 1.6 grams. We will add another one to create an even higher unbalance. So I will put again some scotch tape to keep it in place before we spin it. Then we should see a bigger unbalance on a, uh, channel 3, which is the pink one. So let's start and see what happens. So as I increase the speed, So now we can see, uh, we also unbalance the blue channel a little bit because they are mechanically connected. So we can see now that the pink one wants some, some weight on, on uh, 180, so we have, 100, we have 360 degrees between two pulses and the pink, is, uh, the highest point in the pink is in the middle. So this means we need to add uh, 180 degrees from the point where we have the marking, we need to add the weight. So, so this is the effect when I added those two washers. We can see the, for the blue one, now if we want to, if you can see the blue one, uh, it's also unbalanced a little bit. So, so this is the way, you should put a weight uh, exactly on, on opposite side uh, of the point 
to match exactly the, how many degrees you have between these two 360 degrees uh, waveforms. So that's it. I, I managed to balance this with like 0.2 grams accuracy. You need a scale. Uh, you need a scale like this. Very, very small scale uh, for um, grams. So with two decimals, otherwise you cannot choose the weights. So uh, yeah, this is it.